<laughs> good morning, everyone. Good morning. Da Jia Zhao. Good morning. I, I am here with my good friend Brent, and uh, in in of all places. Uh, Oakland Chinatown because we during Lunar New Year we recommended a uh, bakery uh, that made fa gao in this area a prosperity cake but today we're actually here and we are going to try three of the Napoleon Super Bakery's most famous buns and why they're so famous we can unwrap let's unwrap the box why they're so famous is because their buns are huge they are gigantic Big buns. I like big buns. I cannot <laughs> lie. We, we don't lie about the, the loving the big buns. Um, <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna see inside the box. Inside the box. Let's let's see. This way. Okay. Alright, good idea. We've got lots of buns. The variety of buns are here. Of course, one of the most famous, most popular of all Cantonese style buns is Tashu uh, bun or Tashu bao. Which one is it? I think it's this one. We're gonna see. These are big buns. These are pretty, actually, this one's even bigger. Whoa. Look how big this is. This is like almost the size of our face. <laughs> Too soon. Oh, uh, sorry. That's okay. All right. This one. I'm gonna crack this open. Here's the bun. And we're gonna, by the way, the camera's here. Oh. <laughs> hey. We're gonna crack this open and we're gonna see what's inside. Super soft. Whoa. Fluffy. What is that? This is, so Chasu is barbecue pork. It's the ah. Chinese version of Al Pastor. It's kind of like a savory and a sweet uh, meat that has been barbecued. It's so, not kosher. This, this is not kosher. Okay. We, this would be very important for us to, to, to mention this. Am I feeding you? No, no, okay. I'll, I'll feed myself. <laughs> okay. I love... Oh. Very good. Describe. Sweet, salty, savory. It's sweeter than I would have expected for pork, but I guess barbecue is that way. Okay. And saucy. Right? Yeah, I also was expecting it to be drier because the other pork things we saw in there had dried pork floss on top. Mm, that's right. So, it's good. I like it. Soft, right? Yeah, it's very soft. It's yeah. always soft. We like this. Okay. So, his sashu bao is definitely a thing to get. And how much? It was like a buck, right? Maybe a dollar. A dollar twenty. 20 yeah. For a giant bun. Okay. Yeah. Great if you're on a budget. Bun number two. Oh. This one is a pineapple bun. And we call this bo luo bao. Bo luo is the word in Chinese for pineapple. But guess what? Is there pineapple inside? I have a question about this. What's the question? What is the roof or hat? What's the roof of the bun? <laughs> this is usually some form of dairy or condensed milk. Uh, or, or cream based product. Sometimes it has yolk in it mm -hmm. and after it gets baked it crusts up. Lovely terminology. It tastes better than it sounds. Okay? But no, there's actually no pineapple in this. It is supposed to be baked and, uh, and scored so that it looks kind of like a pineapple but no pineapple inside. Why is it not scored? Why is it not scored? Yeah. This, I mean, Sort of scored. Okay. Yeah. Maybe not as well as as, as we would have liked, but ooh, okay. So this one is I'm gonna lean on the go. Nai Huang. Bolo Bao Nai Huang is uh, custard. The yellow part of um of the bun. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I should be holding the box. It's okay. <laughs> oh I like that. It's very eggy. Mm -hmm. The outside tastes sweet, but the inside less so. But texture-wise, very smooth. Inside, very smooth. No. Outside, crisp. There's a little crunch to it. Yeah. Crumbly. Crumbly. Crumbly is a better word. Crumbly. Oh. That was very tasty. The crumbles are falling all over. So much for my low sugar diet. So it ruins your. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you're eating healthy, this is 
probably not the way to go. Probably not. Okay. <laughs> so, even though they have gigantic buns, they also have mini buns too. These are super cute. They were like five for a dollar? Yeah. It's a 50 cent bun. Or a 50 cent single bun. Right. But you know, it's just like taxes. You get extra credit when you when you're filing jointly. The last bun is the mushroom chicken bun, but we gotta figure out which one it is. I, I feel like it's this. I think you're right. Okay, this makes more sense because the top is different. It doesn't say chicken and it doesn't say mushroom, but it tells you. you see evidence of a mushroom <laughs> a protruding mush from the back. The mushroom is coming out. All right, okay. We're just falling all over the place. Remember what we do with buns? Taking off the bottom. People forget that sometimes? Yes, okay. people forget it all the time. Wait, I'm gonna let you do the honors with this. I'm gonna hold the box. All right. Here we go. All right. Crack it open. Well, on the <laughs> car. <laughs> all right. Ooh. Another big uh, Cantonese thing is to have chicken buns. Chicken is not as commonly used in the north of China or Taiwan. So usually when you find Oh, that smells really good. It's really close to my face, but it smells really good. Usually when you find chicken buns, they're usually Cantonese specialties. So you can either find them in bakeries, you can even also find them in dim sum restaurants too. Um, <laughs> yeah. Alright, lots of chunks of chicken. Looks like dark meat. Oh, good. And mushroom. This one's my favorite. It looks like shiitake mushrooms inside. This one's your favorite? Mm -hmm. Why is this one your favorite? No pork, not sweet. Mushroomy. This would be, um, does it count as a hate crime if I fed the Jewish man pork? I consented. There was beforehand. consent. I knew what okay. Meant. Yes, All right. Exactly. As we're across the street from the mural that says, love each other. Mm -hmm. No hate crimes. Love everyone. So this one's your favorite? Not fun. Oh, right. yeah. If you're ever in Oakland Chinatown, or if you want to make a special trip out to Oakland Chinatown for the Napoleon Super Bakery for these three buns, they have other buns too, but these three I think are the, are the best. And we're just going to continue eating on the street in Oakland Chinatown. But have a wonderful morning, everyone. Have a wonderful start to your week. And uh, ciao. We'll see you next time.